this is Mike and Andrew. Andrew. Thank you. So, um, racing on Regatta Lake. We're both running a 940 measurement on our masts. And what's okay. interesting is that Andrew is really, really fast upwind or was really fast, really upwind. What are your measurements, Andrew? 940 backstay, 30 foot on both the jib and the main. Fairly loose, not fully loose, but fairly loose uh, tension on the rig. Uh, 30, 38, 40 on the jib boom. Um, and okay. uh, from about 59 from the deck to the... Okay, we are, the okay so we're having a flat out race no rules, no nothing, just flat out race up to the red boy, okay? The, the winner of this wins the national titles, okay? And the sheep station. And the sheep station. And we're going really, 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 The sheep station is very important to me. The right? VMR on 52 is bloody good. You're in low mode, are you? No, I'm in high mode. You're in high mode? Oh my god. Yeah, but we're in a different wind pattern. I've got helm, weather helm. It's pulling right up. It's pulling really far up. And I'm, oh, now I'm pulling it down a bit. No, pulling it down a bit. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to get that going fast. One port, by the way. Yeah. I'm on the starboard, but I've tacked to be with you. Okay. It's very close sailing here. This sheep station, how many acres? 100,000 acres? At least, at least, but as long, it has to be green grass, no dust balls. No dust balls, okay. So maybe we're back down to about 500 acres. Okay, so what's happened there is that you've got a big, 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 big lift. It's only a small sheep station, isn't it? 500 acres, you might have to go for a bigger one. Okay, do you know your port and starboard rules? Yep. They're only little boats, so you don't have to apply them very often. Oh my god, you're ahead. Seriously ahead. Oh. There you go. Okay. Well, you've won that sheep station. Well done. There you go. Settle on a size. What do you mean, size? So my leech, main leech, is tied up in yours, yep. right? I'll so what I'm going to do, it. what I'm going to do, is because I've had a flat, very flat jib, I'm going to take the, the flatness out of the jib and put it back to 30, 30 odd on the From jib. From the string to the... No, no, the flat, the, um, oh, the, foot. the foot. The foot. So I'm going to pull the foot out and I'm going to... Um, just have, maybe flatten the jib, the main a bit, because I had a bit too much weather helm then, working up. See if that changes the dynamics. The dynamics. What do you think? It's not yet. Um, oh, no, not yet. Um, I think... Yeah, the breeze has picked up a bit, so... You need a bit more foot in your jib. It's really cool. Push that chip back out to about 30. Maybe put a bit more twist in your main and in your jib. Oh, you 
got it too tight. Let it, let it a bit off. Sir? About dog? Yes. Yeah, dog, nice dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so, so look when I go, when I use that off, right? Look how tight my jib le main leech is. I should fly down when now. Let's go All down right. when. Okay. okay. slow should go out. Maybe the sail, maybe it's getting caught on the sail as it flips across. You're getting, you're about half, you gained about half a boat length, yeah. possibly. And that's because I got super, super bent mast, super bent mast, and super tight leech in the moment. It's not much in it though. Yeah, not a lot in it. In fact, I might have gained, but that could be the wind. Yes, yes. Your, your boat's it's gone light, you're much quicker in the light and much quicker in the heavier stuff. Yeah, but I changed everything for the... Okay, do you think I need to get... Why don't you go back out again? Yeah. If my measurements are quicker, we could take my measurements, right? Okay? And then you copy them and see if it makes a difference. Alright. We're going before light. Before this so. breeze, before this rain comes. There's a bit of breeze further, further out this breeze. Yeah. Alright. So let's, you're a bad length ahead of me, so we'll just make sure it's good. 
Yeah, you're, uh, when it's light, you're... Just dropped yeah. away, let's do one more run. Okay. Whoever wins this, can he take this sheep station back? Yeah. Okay. Well, it just goes back to square. Nobody gets a sheep right. station. Where are we going? Around, bo around those boys? Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do is Video. We're We've been at Regatta Waters doing some, um, some training for the Nationals and Andrew started the day basically winning everything um, and I decided to copy some of his measurements to see if I could improve. Well it worked okay so uh, in the last couple of races Mike has um, uh, won the last three races and we're going to take Mike's measurements and just for the record say well done to Sarah because she's done some really good videoing today and thank you so much for coming out. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, she had a lot yeah. of fun. Okay, so <laughs> I, I'm doing the berm, okay? The berm measurement now. That is at 23, 23 or thereabouts. 
the jib measurement. Wow, okay. The jib measurement is 30, 37, 37 on the jib. Uh, so that's, um, I'll just check that again. Yeah, 23 on the on the boom. Okay, so that's on the on the booms. So I'm going to the uh, the jib. The main foot is 33, 33, and then on the jib, it is it is 30, 30 on the jib. Okay, this is not super tight. It's not. This is quite tight. This 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 one's quite tight, right? That one's sort of loose-ish. I've set the gate at number... In the, just one line, it's in the middle, but it's just one line, one line thickness, so really th thin, just ahead of it, okay? So just one line ahead of it. My mask bend is quite significant. It's, a, it's quite a bit of mask bend. But what's interesting, downwind I go actually pretty quick, and I think that's because if you look at that now there's a bit of twist in there at the moment right okay so look at that there's some twist in there at the moment um, i haven't measured the twist but i'm going to measure it now right now okay the twist is okay well just between 45 and 50 but i'll just re-measure that with no breeze in it okay So 45, no, uh, hang on, 40, uh, maybe 50, 50, 50 twist, but the actual twist here, here is probably only a finger sill. Um, so going on the jib, we've got here, 50 on the jib, and on the string, it's about 25, string 25, 50 on that. So tightish here, tighter here than on here. This is actually a little bit looser, right? Um, but what I wanna show you is the important thing is when I actually ease this, ease this out, uh, watch, the, watch the jib, the, the main leech, right? Watch the main leech. Okay, now watch that. Now, can you see it all? That's actually tightening. You can see that that's tightening. There, can you see that? Can you see it? I'm looking at that fast thing in the background. It's no, this thing here. So now. Look at that. So see how the leech is tightened? It's because the, the mast is bent, right? So it's tightened it up, okay? Um, okay, so as we pull it in, watch the, watch the, see how the twist increases? The twist increases and that's because i've got mask bend happening here i've got the mask quite i've got these tie-ons really super loose at the moment super loose to mask things so what we're going to do is, is we're going to put in the water now and we're going to see whether you've changed yours what have you done talk to her so i've i've uh, changed i've reduced the twist in both so the way the winds dropped away a little bit so rather than having a fairly rather than having a fair bit of twist I've cut it right down and just checked just checked it looked like my um, boom wasn't coming in properly it looked like it had um, slipped slipped a little bit so. initially we had we probably had about 20 races I think for the first half my boat was quicker that's a lot more twist and uh, Mike was sort of choking up a bit. But um, then the breeze dropped out, and Mike made a few adjustments. Um, in particular, tightened his backstay to a 940 measurement um, and started to, started to win. He probably won the next 10 races. So it was probably the first 10 to me, the second 10 to Mike, and then the very last race, I made a few adjustments so they were more in line with 52 and, um, and it was fairly neck and neck. Downwind speed was pretty even the entire day. Like initially probably a bit quicker until I tightened up the leeches and then after that even. Upwind speed 
uh, once that wind sort of dropped out, Mike had a lot more upwind speed uh, once the wind came in. My boat was a bit quicker. Uh, but the main differences between the two are probably the mast position. We've got mine at the back, Mike's got his in the middle. Is that right? Yeah. In the middle. Yeah, and middle, um, number three. I've probably got a, um, a looser leech. Mike's got a tighter leech, which is this part in here. He's running a lot less twists. So uh, that, that more or less sums it up. But I think at the end, Mike was definitely quicker. 52 was faster than 514. 514 was faster at the start. In the breeze, 514 was probably quicker in the light. 52 was quicker today. Well, congratulations on the sheep station. I think you won the sheep station. Oh, I think you, yeah, <laughs> so I think you won about six of them in the end. Yeah, so um, well done. Thank you, Sa, so much. Bye. Thank you, Sapanza. <laughs>